It looks like a rock, but an effect. I found this on the beach. The, on the beach, there are a bunch of black rocks, and once every million times, salt is the rock so much it becomes white. See right here, it has its own little particles. You know how it's glistening? That's salt. Call us salty obsidian. The black, and I was covered in salt so much it became white. Imagine you take a bath in black paint. Like you spend your your time in black paint for so long, it goes inside your skin. So now you have black skin. So this is kind of the same thing. Oh, so you imagine a you'll, tattoo. You'll be salty. Lick it. <laughs> is it salty? It's very salty. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll always Just taste salty. Like, yeah. Guessed. If I if I try to break it in half, the, the the center of it will be black. So it's like a tattoo. See that? A tattoo. So it's embedded so hard in the skin, it just becomes a part of the skin. Well, this is just white. But it's a rock. So now if I just have it, it's actually a rock. Anyway, guys, enough about rocks, more about class. Now, you guys sent in the homework a little... Uh, let's just say... A little, yeah, a little later than I would like. Yeah, one day before would be perfect, guys, to get everything right. So because of the uh, uh, because of the delay in the homework, I didn't have enough time to fix it. However, today we're not going to be fixing homework as much as you're going to be discussing on how to do it correctly. Okay, guys. So we're going to be quickly learning full answers. We're learning how to give in full answers question words and etc etc okay guys we're going to be learning that for now all right also everybody please don't forget to send in vocabulary it is crucial and it is very 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 important so let's do let's not forget how to do that okay now uh, let's get rid of that for a second okay so guys keywords matter a lot okay with that say being said and done Answering those questions are going to be a little bit more, let's just say, tricky. So let's open up class two worksheet one. And uh, let's have a look at some of the answers, okay? So let's quickly switch up the OBS. Oops. There we go. So we can clearly see the questions ourselves, right? Now, uh, let's see here. Um, Benjamin, I want you to read the, the first question. People have many different animals as pets. Some of them are very common, like cats, dogs, birds, while others are not so common, like spiders, snakes, iguanas, mice, and so on. What animals do you think should never be kept as pets, and why? Now, I would like to get your attention to some of the more key core components which uh, which I want some of you guys to read. Okay, let's put this down right here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Kenneth, I want you to read what you see with this line right here and then read the, all the words. Questions usually begin with an interrogative, ad adjective, adverb, or pronoun. What? And when, what, where, who, whom, whose, why, which, how. Exactly. So, do you understand that, Kenneth? So, guys, <clears throat> first thing which I want to point out, let's kind of get it in there. A question, when someone, when I write you guys down a question, we're going to start making things a little bit more tricky to make sure you guys improve and um, kind of advance you to a next level of answering questions. So see guys, in previous novel studies, we had just copying answers from books. Now this is in-depth questions that rely on you guys in your answers. So for that purpose and that purpose only, uh, it's a bit more tricky than it seems, okay? So with that being said and done, now what we're focusing on is your individual opinion here, okay? So... When I give you guys some questions, they're not always going to be just direct questions. Like, when did this happen? How did this happen? No. I'm giving you guys something that's called an intro. 
for an introduction. When I give you guys a question, you can I'm giving you guys basic information first. So, uh, let's see, Jolyn, read the first question one more time, please. People have many different an animals as pets. Some of them are very common, like cats, dogs, birds, while others are not so common, like spiders, snakes, iguanas, mice, and so on. What animals do you think should never be kept as pets, and why? Okay, so you see guys, this is basically just a long text with an implement of a question. The entire text is not a question. Now, a question usually starts with a capital letter, after a period mark, after a comma, or, as we have just established, it begins with an integrative adjective, adverb, or pronoun. When, what, where, who, whom, who, or why, uh, how, and etc., etc. So it's important to remember that. So you can see right here we have the period mark here, and we have the W right here. So this is all an introduction. I'm giving you guys information about basic statistics or something like that. Information that is crucial and is important for you guys to understand the question. Does everybody understand so far? Yep. Yeah, and no questions, yep. guys? No. No questions so far? Okay, no. good. So that's basically it. Once I give you guys the information, then you know some people like keeping dogs, cats, some people like keeping rats, snakes, and spiders. I'm giving you guys a genuine idea. And then I give you guys the question. This question is based on your opinion. What animals do you think should never be kept as pets? And more importantly, why do you think that? An implementation of your opinion is crucial. With the same logic, uh, Benjamin, I want you to read the second question. Uh, in the novel, we learned how Chester got to New York and what you do. Uh, what would you do if one day you woke up and you were in a completely different place? Explain in detail what you would do and why. So, again, I want Kenneth to try and answer my question. Uh, Kenneth, we get a bit of a text here. Where does the question start in this text, Kenneth? Mm. What would you do if one day you woke up, you were in a completely different place? Okay, and then everything else also continues. Explain in detail what would you do. Right? This is more of a this is more of a detailing of the question, which is uh, basically I'm telling you guys that a small answer is not enough. I need you guys to write me big answers with your opinion. The more writing, the more grammar you include, the better. Right? So we can locate your mistakes. I can explain it to you in class, and we can move on with them. Okay? Okay. And learn a little bit more. Now, Jolyn, uh, Kenneth has just established that what would you do is where the question starts. So I have a question. What is all of the, every single text before? What is this called before the question? Introduction. Exactly. It's an introduction. I'm giving you guys crucial information. I'm giving you guys statistics. I'm giving you guys some information so you can use it to have a reference to the question, to better understand the question. Okay, guys? Same thing in the articles. When you guys write articles, when you guys write, when you guys write passages, it's very crucial and it's very, very important to kind of understand everything, in detail, of course, by first giving an introduction. So when we're talking about a person, for example, if you're writing a biography about a person, uh, for example, Elon, Elon Musk, we can't just begin talking about uh, everything that he has done, his birth, you know. You have to start explaining by who is he, why are we talking about him, okay? So we need something that's called an introduction. Kenneth, Benjamin, Jolyn, does everybody understand? Yep. yep. All right. Yep. Pretty easy information. All right, guys. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to correct all of your guys' answers and et cetera, et cetera. I'd like to grab all of your attention to full answers. So what are full answers? Full answers basically help you guys understand everything in crucial and very, very important detail. Full answers, um, they basically introduce every bit of the question, okay? So if someone has a question, uh, like we have here, for example, uh, what would you do and why? I would do 
for example, this, this, that, and why is because. Couple of important texts and a couple of important notes I would like to add for you guys, which will help you understand um, why or what or how we do full answers, okay? So, one of it is the word why, okay? Very, very important note I would like you guys to take note of is when we have the word why in a question, the full answer has to have the word because. A very good example of this would be this question. Um, what animals do you think should never be kept as pets and why? Uh, Jolin gave us one of the answers, which is, I think poisonous animals should never be kept as pets. And the last question we have here is why? So, Kenneth, what word do we use to answer this one? Because. Because, exactly. So, we use it because. So, we answered the first question, what animals do you think should never be kept as pets? I think that poisonous animals or venomous animals should never be kept as pets. And the second second paragraph of the question, which is why, we answer because they can be dangerous to us. You guys understand the principle? Invisible. All right, I'm going to add all of this information, guys, into the our, our secret chat, secret chat. So uh, first thing you got to focus on here, excuse me here. Uh, first thing we really got to focus on is going to the full answer. A full answer is writing down the question as you're answering it. So for example, what do you think the best game is? So we have to write down, I think the best game is is uh, Minecraft, okay? We are not allowed to change the tense, okay? For example, if we have a question uh, that could be like, uh, what would you do? That's the question. We can't answer with, I will uh, uh, jump, for example, right? We can't say, I will. This is incorrect, because the question says, would. It's a different tense. So we have to follow that tense and type in I would jump. Do you guys understand that? So when if the question is, is what would you do if you were, uh, 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 for example, uh, use, let's use the example that I provided in today's question. What would you do if you were in a bad place? Okay, we can't say I will leave the bad place. Okay, we can't say that because we have what? Oops, I would leave the bad bad place. We can't say I will leave the bad place. It's as I would. I would leave the bad day. Uh, would leave the bad place. And if we have the uh, question why as well, what do we answer here, guys? What do we have to write down? Because, 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 that's the group because, and then we give our answer. It's not where I want to be. Add a period mark. Don't forget that. Remember to start with the capital letter. And yeah, that's how we uh, that's how we unveil full answers. Does everybody understand, guys? Yeah. This is a principle of being able to give a long answer and argumented and very formal long answer. Okay, to the question which anyone might provide for us. And let's not forget the reason. Before we write down our answer, we have to know our reason. Why are we doing this? Why are we answering? Why do we think this way? So if you were in a bad place, what would you do? And you have to think about the question. If I was in a bad place, I would like to go home, right? So what would you do? We, we write down uh, the full answer, which is if I was in a bad place, comma, I would leave, okay, then we add the reason why. Because it's not where I want to be. So this is the full answer. You guys understand the full answer principle. We have to make sure we use every word in the question. What would you do if you were if you were in a bad place? So if I was in the past, not am, was, because were, was, if I was in a bad place, I would in the past, right here, same tense, would leave, not go, leave, comma, why? Because it's not where I want to be, or your reason. That's how we structure a full argumented and diplomatic answer. Does everybody understand, guys?
Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. I'll get on your vocabulary. I'll make sure to deposit every single text that we have here into our channels. But right now, I would like to begin focusing on, uh, basically focusing on today's class. So we had ourselves four new chapters to learn, right? Yes. Yes. I'm very glad to hear that. Okay, very good. With that being said and done, oh, we get ourselves to a little infinite portal here. Let me just shut that off. Uh, as I was saying, guys, we had four classes, and uh, obviously, every single class, we discussed four new chapters. How many chapters did we discuss previously, guys? Four, exactly. And I would like to ask everybody, where did we last leave? Where did we last leave the chapter? Where, where did chapter we last four, end? Harry. Chapter four, Harry. Okay, Cat. interesting. Uh, who would like to give us a brief refresh of chapter four? Okay, okay, I see Jolene here is very uh, wanted, okay. Jolene, would you like to talk about chapter four? Yeah, it's like when, when Chester is telling Tucker the story, Harry Cat jumps in and then Chester meets Harry Cat. Okay, so this is happening while Chester and, and Tucker are talking, and then all of a sudden Harry appears, right? And eating the liver rice, which sounds tasty, I'll be honest. It, it does. A little bit. All right. So now we're moving on to the four of the next chapters. Guys, let's not forget giving away some highlights, talking about those chapters. They'll be really, really, really useful. Um, guys, what is the fifth chapter called? <laughs> well... Hold on, hold on. Nobody, don't nobody scream out the answer. Everybody, let's be a little polite here. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you need to answer anything. Okay. Kenneth, yes. Sunday morning. The, the what? Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. All right. Who would like to briefly start describing in detail what's happening in chapter five? Uh. Okay, that's something we're going to have to focus on. Oh, I know. Yeah. Wait, is this already at the... Oh, okay, now I know. Everybody take your time. No, but I want to give everybody a couple of moments here, okay? Okay, I'm writing down some notes. Did someone just burp? Not me. Kenneth, did you just... All right. Well, someone's being very, very nice today. Burping. Okay, we'll go with that. No okay. Good job, Kenneth. I would burp too, but I'm, I can't. I can't. I don't, can you burp on command? I can't. I can't do that. I have to drink something like gassy and soda to do that. I can't. Jolly, don't do it. That's not. That's not nice. Don't. Nobody does that. All right. All right. Does everybody know what chapter we're on? The Sunday morning. Who wants to begin talking about Sunday morning? What's happening in Sunday morning? Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, Joel is hyper excited. I guess she could be kidding. Go on, Joel. Take it very he slow. He was talking about like when Mario, next Mario, when he comes to the newsstand, and it, he fed the Chester some breakfast, which is bread, a lump of sugar, and something something sprout. <laughs> I don't know how to read it. You mean Brussels sprout? Brussels sprout. Yes. Brussels Brussels sprout. Brussels sprout. Brus, brus, Brussels sprout. Yes. Okay, yeah, oh, right, that was and, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, and, right. and 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 then he was on the train taking Chester to go to buy his new cage. Mm hmm Interesting. Now, Benjamin, where did he go to buy that cage? Forgot. <laughs> he went to. Uh, Chinese novelties. Okay, Kenneth, what is that place called? Uh, Chinatown. Chinatown, that's a good place. If you guys ever been to Chinatown, it's really, I like Chinatown. Chinatown, good. All right, anyway. <clears throat> Focus. What, where did he go specifically in Chinatown? What store did he go to to get that cage? I kind of forgot my San Fran store. <laughs> It, what, what, yeah, yeah, okay, very good. And uh, Benjamin, who did he meet in that store, I wonder? Send Ron. Oh. Send Ron. Do not say it out loud. Don't Do not say it out loud. Okay, fine, you're ready to say it. Get the wrong. 
Kenneth's breathing a little bit. Okay, Benjamin, can you go ahead and answer, please? Why am I cypher? Okay. Cypher. Okay, okay. And uh, what did uh, the man give Mario? What did he give him? A bell. Oh, wait. wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not fit for group classes, are you? Genuinely not. Okay, Kenneth, you can go. Shut Kenneth, up, you can go. Sorry. <laughs> um, he got a um, he, a cage and a bell and a fortune cookie. Where did the cake come really? from? And one more thing. Yes, Benjamin. A story. <laughs> a story. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who who would like to tell that story? Who would like to retell that story to us? Great. I would like to retell that story. Okay, Jola knows. Okay, Jola, go really slowly, but you may go on. Well, there was a man that speak only truth and know, know everything. And That's a little too fast for me to understand. One more time. There was a man in China mm -hmm. that knows mm -hmm. everything and only okay. speaks truth. That's the language you spoke. Okay. What does this have to do with Chester, Benjamin? What does this have to do with Chester? The man, the man turned into a cricket. Okay. Huh. Okay. Jolin, what do you think? Well, it's because like when the man, wicked man, is trying to kill the man who speaks only truth, he turned into a cricket. Hmm. Right. All right. Well understood. Now, was Chester with Mario during the trip? Yes. Even on the subway. Oh, I just no, 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 no. <laughs> did, 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 did Chester go with Mario in Chinatown to, to get the cage? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay, yes. Kenneth, when... Kenneth. Kenneth, okay, thank you guys. Kenneth, I would like for you to describe that cage. What did it look like? Oh, I think there even are yes. some photos in the book. I remember it's... Uh... It's painted red and green, and um, what's that? Oh. Yes. Um. And oh, God, what's it? Would you like some help? Who is it? Are you just reading from the book now? This is supposed to be novel study, but okay. Yeah. Kenneth, oh, will you allow and, Joel to uh, 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 And the okay. sl slender spire is painted um, old. Okay, okay. Is that everything, Kenneth? Uh, Is that no. everything? And no. um, uh, uh, under the 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 slender the uh, slender spire, there were uh, um uh seven tires to it, mm -hmm. and each one smaller. And the below. below. Yep, yep, yep. Understood. Okay. Below. Okay, okay, hold on now. Thank you, Kenneth. Jolin, I think you're very eager to describe it. You want to try and describe it yourself, Jolin? Uh, wait. Why did I flip the wrong page? Because there were seven tires to it, each one a little smaller than one below, and it ended in a slender spire. The lower parts of the cage were painted red and green, but the spire was golden, and one side was a gate with a tiny lunch on it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll take that. Benjamin, what about you? Oh, uh, there are several layers, and it's here. Layers? Benjamin needs a bit of a word, okay, no problem. We can move on from that topic. 
Now, guys, how much did that cage cost? Fifteen cents. It cost fifteen cents. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot. It was fifty cents. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. Was... Let's talk about the price. You guys think it was cheap Maybe. or expensive? Uh, I don't know. That's Maybe. U.S. money. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe first it was very, 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 very expensive, and the mm -hmm. man. Ha um, so um, I saw the cricket, and mm -hmm. he he just sold him for uh, fifteen cents, maybe. Okay, there you go. So fifty something cents. Yes, that's correct. And yes, what Benjamin is saying is absolutely correct because the the, the Mario in the beginning uh, said that it looked very 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 expensive. But then I'm one... Kenneth. <laughs> I'm Kenneth, not Benjamin. Benjamin, sorry, Ken, Ben, 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 Ken. <laughs> Your name is so confusing. You look alike, but your name is completely different. <laughs> the thing, no. <laughs> They are looking the same. It's not easy to be. I do not have connections with twins. I don't know a lot of twins. Oh, ah, on, now Kenneth. Kenneth is the one with the camera. Kenneth is the one with the camera off, and Benjamin is the one with the camera on. Kenneth, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Was it Benjamin or Kenneth who said that it was? <laughs> Two twins angry. <laughs> I didn't know what to do there. All right, all right, all right. It looked expensive, and then when the seller saw the cricket, he gave it for cheap. Now, this time I'll be able to tell them apart because they're both their cameras are off, and I can easily see. Okay, Kenneth, first, what was Chester's reaction on the cage? Uh. Joe, did I say a word? He, uh, the cricket jump and hit the hell yeah, and and hit it to pieces. Okay, he jumped and hit the bell. All right, all right. Uh, now, uh, can I can us back? All right, that's good. Uh, Benjamin, what was Tucker's and Harry's reaction to the cage? They said, no, Tucker said it was very expensive and it's like a palace. Mm hmm. Alright, and what did Harry think? Harry think. Uh, Benjamin is thought. Harry thought. Oh, thought. Harry thought. Yes? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Jordan, what do you think Harry thought? Harry, wait a minute. I remember this thing here. Yeah. Now Tucker really, really enjoyed that cage. Well, yeah. He absolutely loved it. Well, when yeah. like when Chester tells Harry that Mr. Frog gave Mar Mario a fortune cookie, and then Harry said, "I'm very fond of Chinese food myself." We we'll definitely have to agree with that one. Okay, pretty interesting. Uh, one second, guys. Oh, okay. <clears throat> now then, what happened that night? All right. First of all, what what, what did what did Chester think about it? Did did he want to sleep in it? Well, he preferred Matchbox. Exactly, Jolly. Thank you. So here's the question, Benjamin, the one who's sitting on the couch. I can tell you two apart. Kenneth has a door behind him, Benjamin does not. And Jolin does not have a green screen, and I do. Ah! I don't use it today because... Okay, I but the most difference is I'm a girl, and you're, you're, you guys are a boy. <laughs> that makes uh, a complete no, that difference. That is a little bit of a difference. Just a little bit. What's the difference between me and Jolin? Oh, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I have a black... I don't have a black shirt. I have a green screen. Jolin yeah, has a black shirt. I have one Yeah, you have a black shirt too. All right, who, Benjamin, who slept in that cage that night? Popcorn Wolf. What? Tucker the... Oh, 
She's I a thought Tucker it was like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> no, Tucker the Mouse. Not Mickey the Mouse. Tucker the Mouse. I was like, Tucker the Mouse slept in that cage. Well done. Well said, Benjamin. Thank you very much. Let's see now. Uh, Jolyn, you did say that that uh, Tucker, sorry, loved that cage, while Chester thought that his matchbox was more comfortable. So, did Tucker just go to sleep, Jolyn, or what What happened? How did he go there? Well, first, Harry, Tucker, and Chester, they went to the cash register to pick up two $1 bills for, the, for mm -hmm. a sheet and a blanket, and then they picked out the ring, yeah, the ring, and then he, Tucker used it as a pillow. So he just sat there. <laughs> okay, so how, how did this, Kenneth, how did this make Tucker feel? How did Tucker feel after all of this? Kenneth? Hello? Hello. Uh, how did Tucker feel when he was had a blanket that was a dollar, his war snuggled all up, okay? How did Tucker feel when he was sleeping in a cage with a dollar bill and blah, blah, blah? How did this make Tucker feel? He was very comfortable. Holy was moly. That was loud, wasn't it? Yeah. I heard <laughs> I, I actually, it was so loud, one of my earpieces stopped working. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was just thinking it was no. so loud. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, thank you, Kenneth. But nothing, everything did not go well, did it? Harry the cat went to sleep in the pipe. Always do, they both yeah. slept there. Uh, Chester got back to his matchbox. And uh, Tucker was enjoying... Of the luxury of cage and money. Everything went well, you may see, but it didn't. In the morning, something happened. What happened? No one answer it. Everybody raise your hand first. Let's maintain some civility in the class. Civility? <laughs> Am I the only one who just heard that? Well, yeah, he's literally yeah. The, the fifth time. Kenneth, did you just do that? Again, I can't tell it was Kenneth or Benjamin because both of them look very, very guilty. Both of them are scared. I can't tell who it was. I think... You can't tell. Okay, now I know. This is a... Oh yeah, Kenneth did it himself. He is bad, burping it all out off camera. Okay, in that case, Benjamin, what happened in the morning? What happened? Something happened. What happened? Something happened. Um, the next morning, uh, 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 Chester ate the two dollar bills. Half of it. Is this true, Jordan? Oh, yeah. Chester thinking yeah. we'll have a dream, and then he ate half of it. Half. He ate half of the dollar half. bill. Wait, hold on. Uh, Kenneth, are you capable of explaining? Kenneth, don't work. Can you explain? The dream which Tucker was having. He's still eating the dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, you're not eating a dollar bill. Yeah. Kenneth! Okay, he spat it out. Kenneth! He's he's puking. He is. <laughs> he is he just he just spat out a dollar bill. All right, <laughs> Kenneth, Benjamin's gone. Okay, Kenneth, what kind of dream did Tucker have? Tucker. Okay. Yes. Tucker. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Tucker, I don't know. It's Chester. Yeah, it's it's Chester. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One sec, one sec. Tucker the no, Tucker the mouse. While he yes? was sleeping, while he was sleeping, he had a dream. Because of ah. that dream, he ate 
one of the dollar bills. It's Chester! Chester it's the, Chester! Chester! It's the, Chester! Chester's the cricket. Yes! yes! The cricket ate the dollar bill! <laughs> Okay, I'll give you evidence. Wait a moment. <laughs> did, did Kenneth scream so loudly that I mixed the characters? Did he burp so much that my brain had a problem and I mixed the characters together? Look, Chester Cricket was having a dream. In his dream, he was sitting on top of a stump, back in blah, 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 blah. A storm came that he wrote dirt across. Chester looked around him. He has been walking to see and he was eating the edge of a cash at the edge of the cash register, the storm had been a gust of air that blew into the newsstand, and the shelter pulled up to the station. He was still choking from the dirt that flew around him. Tried to look around at his two front legs, half a crack to find the will of this, but it was no leap he was holding. It was a two dollar bill that he had already eaten half! <laughs> Kenneth, you need, to, you need to be less loud. My brain had such a problem, I mixed the characters. Yes. That was the dream, and thank you, Jolin. Now, immediately, what was Benjamin? No, no, <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin, Benjamin, listen to me. Can you please get back to your station? <laughs> Benjamin, please, can you please sit down? I would really appreciate. Okay, Benjamin, you have very nice hair, but can you please sit down? We're trying to conduct a class. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of which, Benjamin, I want you to answer the question. What was everyone's reaction on the half-eaten dollar bill? Half-eaten dollar. What was the answer? What did people think? How did everyone react? Who's oh, Ken? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I, know. I know the answer to the last question. Okay. Who has the answer to those questions? Let's begin with uh, Benjamin. Benjamin, what was everyone's reaction on the half eaten dollar bill? They were very, very surprised. I would be surprised too. They were in shock. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jolin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, what was everyone's reaction? Um, and what were they saying about it? What what, what do they have to do? What, what? Tucker says that Chester should pack his bag <laughs> and, and, and go out. Leave. Run. But did did Chester do it? Nope. Why not, Kenneth? Why did not why did Chester not go? Why did Chester not run away? Kenneth? Me. Yes. You're being a little quiet. Can you speak up? Too quiet. Louder. <laughs> Louder. Okay. A little louder. Hello? Okay, that's a little too much. Okay. Just what, what I was did... expecting. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was waiting for that too. Uh, uh, Kenneth, what did, why did Chester not just run away? Can you tell me? Maybe because um, he um, he's Mario's pet. Uh huh. And he felt bad for Mario. That's correct. So what did they start to do, Golden? Well, what did they start to do? They started talking about something. What did they start talking about? Okay. What are you doing, Joel? Raising my hand. <laughs> yes, you may answer the question. Uh, first, Tucker was saying that she should pack his bag and leave. And she then... or he? She or he, Jolie? We're talking about Chester here. She pack her bag or should he pack his bag? Which one? Uh, maybe a he. Pack your bags and go go back. I'm tired today. And Tucker, they can stay and take mm -hmm. the wrap. Uh, okay, just, no one would... So, they Keep started the talking about and they'll never know what happened. Exactly. <laughs> so, 
guys, basically what the, what they started to do, they started talking about different things they could do to fix this problem, right? Right. Kenneth, give me one of the options that they were thinking about to fix the scenario. Joel has already said one of those, eat the entire dollar, the, the, the bill, and uh, nothing would happen. Oh. And, and the other one is to, to smash, smash the, uh, um, the uh, alarm clock and then spill um, every, every money on the floor. Yeah, and, um, yes. and then, like it was a robbery? Yeah, and, a, and, where is it? Yes, but Kenneth, they said no to that plan. They said that that plan is horrible. Now, here's a question for you, Kenneth. Why did they decide not to do that plan? Because yes, because it is um Chester 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 ace that uh, and yeah. Okay, Jolin, why did they not want to use that plan to smash the window and pretend like it was a robbery? Well, because I guess someone else is in trouble and. And when they do that, they'll cost more than $2. Yeah, the cost, the damage will be a lot more than just $2. Yes, that is correct. Now, eventually, while they were speaking, guys, about these things, something happened. Benjamin, what happened? Uh, my mom opened, uh, mm -hmm. opened the... Yes, yes. Oh, was left and, and Tucker was being hit by the Fortune magazine and he was rolling in, and roll and he rolled into the drink pipe and Chester was, was being thrown into the cage and mm -hmm. And then he was, and then he, um, he was, um, he escaped at the cage and um, jumped on to Mama Benil Benilis. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Joel, can you elaborate on this a little bit? Kenneth, thank you. Yes, from and there, then uh, fall into her nose. Yes. What? Okay. No and what really happened? They were talking, their mom walked in and saw all of the damage. Okay, what did she do? What she, happened? Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Uh, uh. Okay, Kenneth, go on. Uh, uh, Mama Bellini, the, um, um, throw, um, the kids into the cage and then lock the cage with a lot of rope. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then, she went knit knitting and 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 uh knitting and then the uh 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 and when, uh, her stitches kept falling and she was angrier. Last she 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 threw down her things and then um Mm -hmm. Went on the tracks and waited to be smashed. Okay, okay. Jolene, do you confirm all of this? Yep. All right. Perfect. Overall, I feel like Mario got into a little bit of trouble. I feel like. 
Mario got into a little bit of uh, trouble after everything that's been happening. He was really happy yeah. about this scenario, definitely was not. He was going through a bit of a struggle, if I do say so myself, which I do. And, uh, well, Ruka, they were kind of in a pickle now. Uh, they were in a pickle means they were in a tough spot. They're in a rough spot. So, what did Mario... What did Mario's mom tell Mario he could do to fix this problem? What was the solution? So, there's only one real solution out of this scenario. What was it? Go on, guys. Guys, Kajolin has an answer. That's basically it. Okay, Jolin, go on. She says that that when Mario returns two dollars, a uh, Chester will have to be in the cage. A little bit more detail, Jolyn, a little bit more detail. Uh, Mario's mom said until he has earned the $2 that was lost back, Chester was going to be in the cage. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. right. All right, right, right. All right. Very good. Uh, is this where the two, cha uh, the four chapters end, guys? Is this where it all ends? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Is there a little bit more left to tell, for an example, maybe? Let me just see. Mm -hmm. Let me just see this. Because I read the book entirely. And then here. And then here, here. Here, here, here. Um, here, here, and, here. And I remember that the um, Tucker Mouse told them about the, the, the money he saved. Uh. There we go. We're getting a lot of mixed noises here, goodness gracious me. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Right, 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 right. Stop. God, that's a really good one. I did not know the twins can make such noises. Well, okay. I know the boy can make such noises, not a cry. No, I can, I can make. I can make better noises. They're a little bit more. I make that noise. Okay. Okay, I'll make it if you guys promise not to repeat. Okay. Like, no one tries okay. to repeat. What I do is I like to take hold my breath in, mm -hmm. and then combust my nostril, uh, nostril uh, okay, sinuses. Not, okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't repeat. It's very r painful. Okay? Mm. <laughs> the noise I made. It's very painful to do. <laughs> but, but, it's, it's, but I don't breathe out. I breathe in. No. Don't make that sound. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, no, no, it's, like, it's like it's like it's like a whistle. Oh, wow. But uh, uh, you can whistle like inside, but I like to whistle while blowing out air, like <laughs> so. It's individual for everyone. But okay, no one, no one, repeat any more sounds, okay, guys. We got work to finish here, okay. We're not going to do the vocabulary today because of the the tight schedule. I'll I'll make sure to adjust it and send it all as soon as possible, okay, guys. Make sure to prepare okay. for the next four questions. So, while everyone is sitting down and talking about the situation, Harry and Ch uh, Tucker are telling Chester, if you want to, we can open up the cage for you. We can take you out. But Chester says, no, I don't want to do this. Why did Chester not want to get out of the cage, guys? Who can tell me? Uh, because maybe he's in a bad mood. Is he in a bad mood? Okay, okay. What does everybody else think, guys? Okay. Okay. Uh, 
tennis gone. Maybe Chester felt that it was his fault. Yeah. There you go. So, okay. So while Chester, Tucker, and Harry are talking about something, Tucker brings up an interesting topic. Benjamin, what does Tucker bring up? What topic does Tucker bring up? Topics. Yeah. Something maybe that he has. What? Me? Anybody knows? Me. Anyone? Anything? Money. Life savings. There it goes. Thank you, Jolin. Thank you. Life savings. So, uh, Jolin, can you please elaborate? What do you mean by life savings? Chester's life savings. <laughs> yeah. That's. Is it Chester's or Tucker's? No, Tucker. Yeah, come use it. Tucker's. I there you go. I remember the whole bag of letters. Yeah, so Tucker, Tucker the what, mouse. what was that? Tucker the mouse. Tucker the mouse. It's yeah, mouse. Tucker the mouse. Yeah. He had a life saving. So what he basically explained in detail was that all oh, every now and then, Tucker uh, saved every little penny or nickel he could find, and he had his life savings. How much did he have saved up? There was an exact number. Two dollars and two dollars and ninety-three cents. Ninety-three cents. Yes. Yes. Everybody agrees on that number. Wait, let me just check. Yes. Okay, Jolyn. Jolyn's gonna be our fact checker. She's going to fact check the facts. I'm gonna just fall down my chair. Oh, well, that's okay. That's what fact checkers do. They fall down chairs. It's okay. Everybody take your guys' time. <laughs> Who made that noise? What do we got? What do we got? Everybody look into their like right, look into their tablets to shake the exact $2 date. Cents. It's cents. Oh, okay. Cents? Cents. 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 Yeah! Not exactly. Cents. Now cents. Okay. Now cents. Ninety-three now cents. cents. Okay, everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down here. Okay. All right. We actually have that number here. Good. It's all checked in. Uh, now, here's the thing I want to talk about in a bit detail. Tucker could have very, very easily given that money. Now. Explain the discussion about Tucker giving in that money. Can someone elaborate on the details of that? Well, because Tucker just wanted to give the money to Chester to let him free. And, okay. and it makes sense that maybe he just ran for sleeping in his cave. You, you, make, you make a valid point. You do make a valid point. Um, so it's almost like he could pay for the one night he spent in the cage. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of. It was a good friend. They actually did say that in the, in, in the novel. Yes. Uh, correct. Now, Chester also said something about Tucker and his money. What did Chester say? Why are you yawning, Jolin? Are you tired, Jolin? Kind of. Mm. I feel like I am tired as well. I'm trying to hold in all the yawns. I physically can. All right. So Chester told Tucker that it's okay if you don't want to give me your money. This is your money at the end of the day, and you can spend it however you want it. Do you guys agree with this fact? Yeah. You did yeah. say that. Now, interesting. Now, we all know that for Tucker, the life savings are very, very, very important. As this is the money he was saving in for uh, the majority of his life. And now he has to give it, give a dollar or two, to uh, his friend that he has met. Otherwise, Mario would have to, well, spend a long and hard working day trying to make that money back. 
If you were in place of Tucker, guys, would you guys give your life savings to someone? Your friend, maybe? We'll start with Benjamin. Benjamin, would, would you give your life savings for a friend? Would you do it? It's, um, it's very important. Yeah, I think. Okay. Kenneth? Yes. All right. Very so Kenneth would show generosity and chari uh, cherishable charity, and you would give the money. Now, Jolene, I don't think you would give someone your money. Well, I have to say, if this is important enough, if it's just going to buy a bag of cookies, no. Exactly. So it's it, like I feel. Of course, I'm joking about Julie not giving the one, but I feel like the reason is very, very important. Um, if someone was to ask, ask me about my life savings and they do have it, um, it's my answer would always be, "What do you want it for?" There are some reasons that are acceptable. There are other reasons that are absolutely unacceptable to give in life savings. Guys, uh, let me ask you this question uh, for 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 every single one of you guys. Uh, before we ask you the question, let's quickly end up on our last fourth chapter that, we, that we're going to be reviewing today. In the end, Tucker decides to give uh, Chester the money. his life savings. Yes. Is that true or not, guys? False? True. Or true. 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 Okay. Is there anything else that we have to discuss in chapter four? Does it end? Chapter four? Well, the fourth chapter which we are learning, to, which we are discussing today, yes. No. That's all. Uh, okay. Perfect, guys. When do you guys think it's time to take money out of your life savings? When should you do that? When my when, when the, when the money money box. Hold on, everybody, relax. Benjamin starts first, okay. then Jolin, and then Kenneth. Okay. Benjamin, you go first. Um, I think when when there is so much money that your money box cannot cannot carry and. Then, if you put more money, it will burst open and your money will go out. Um, take out money because there's too much money, okay? Valid reason, valid reason, I'll take it. Jolin, stop laughing and give me your answer. Only spend if it's important. Only spend if it is absolute. Can you give us an example of something that's very, very important for you, Jolin? Spend it. Maybe for, sometimes I just spend out little souvenirs. Okay. That's important. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Finally, important. Kenneth. Well, that's uh, that is important. Take it out of the tree. All right. Finally, Kenneth. Kenneth, when do you think it's important to spend your life savings? Uh. When I need to use it. All right. All considered all well said and done. All right. Thank you. When you use it. All right. That's fine. All right, guys. I think that's going to be end uh, the end of today's class. Did anyone have any questions? Nope. For today? Uh, no. Did you <laughs> Kids, uh, no. <laughs> okay, Kenneth. You have a lovely day then. Everybody, have a lovely, uh, have a good night. All right. Thank y'all so much for joining. I'll see you guys next time, all right? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.